What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I'm going to give you a good overview of what is happening in the market today. And more specifically, I want to talk on a tweet that came out a couple days back from Lucid itself and maybe what that might be insinuating. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So Lucid is currently down almost about half of a percent, give or take. Had a little bit more of a sell-off first thing, going down to $7.28, largely because of shorts. And you can tell that based on right here. So for instance, looking at the intraday chart, you see a massive sell-off first thing. Well, I guess I wouldn't really call it massive, but if you do coincide that with what shorts are doing it's uh, very much them so short score is currently 83 utilization is 100 and currently they are increasing 952 thousand shares works out to be around 21 percent of the free float being shorted 134.35 million shares being shorted and cost of borrow is starting to spike up so definitely a positive thing but as you can see right here this kind of uh, blip right here is the borrowed shares and that is in fact this kind of scenario right here so of course it's all very much correlated behind the scenes shorts know exactly when to increase your position and that is typically in the morning and also during power hour but of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day. I'll give you guys some quick other summaries of what is happening before I get into lose its tweet and what that might really entail. So as far as the options breakdown, there is a lot more calls being purchased, insinuating maybe behind the scenes there might be an uptrend coming potentially. Of course, like I said, these videos are for entertainment purposes. And when you are looking, for instance, at options, though, it doesn't necessarily move the stock price. It's just a little bit more of a sentiment behind the scenes. But as far as purchasing, it has slowed down a little bit. So Friday was a lot of big buying that was happening. Most likely institutions just rebalancing. But today there's only been three transactions on the secondary market and one of which was 2.02 million. And as far as dark pool transactions for Lucid, I'll give you guys a quick summary of that. Not too many as well. So clearly a lot of big money. Maybe it's just waiting in anticipation for the upcoming Fed meeting, which is on Wednesday. Like I said on my video during the weekend, on basically what to expect for this week. But right now, Stochastic is at 20 and still very much oversold. You do have that nice deviation. So black line above the red showing still, despite it being red, an underlying bullish sentiment. Number of retail investors are getting out today. Uh, so clearly a lot of fear around the whole Fed meeting and just banking in general but like I said when it comes down to lucid it is a long-term investment and most likely there's a lot of partnerships waiting on the sidelines for lucid to actually get production up because right now only 10 to 14 thousand for the 2023 targets is kind of small most likely they would have to at least quadruple that before any big substantial partnerships start to really take lucid seriously that's just my own thoughts but of course, when it comes down to Lucid, there was this tweet that did come out on the 18th and it says talking cars and technology with a few hundred Lucid Air enthusiasts from Apple Auto Club. So of course, Lucid loves to kind of allure people with Apple. So Apple Auto Club. And as you can see based on this picture, I have no idea who this individual is right here, but someone is holding up an Apple just like that. So of course, I think Lucid's always been a very good contender for a Apple partnership. And as of right now, Apple has not actually disclosed on who they're going to be partnering with. It was supposed to have been disclosed and kind of came out by the tail end of 2022, but unfortunately that never really came. So the fact that they're still alluring and leading to this clearly shows that there might be something behind the scenes, especially when it talks on talking cars and technology that literally encompasses Apple products itself. So I also find it very weird as well, based on the Q4 earnings, of course, this kind of did irritate me at the time, but they didn't really answer a lot of these questions that was posed by retail. They kind of did throw out their speech in essence, but not directly other than this one question is the Saudi PIF taking Lucid private. But I believe the sixth question is right here. Is Lucid going to team up with Apple? And as I said during the Q4 earnings, I don't know if they did this on purpose because they did kind of answer this one question. They answered this as well during their speech. They kind of touched on this for the most part, didn't really directly talk on the 2025 aspect, but 
they did talk on a lot of numbers and their expectation for 2023 and potentially rolling into 2024. So they kind of answered this, but purposely they didn't answer this one. So once again, is that on purpose or why exactly did they not answer that? So once again, maybe there might be some validity to the whole Lucid Apple partnership after all. Once again, though, let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments below. Do you think there is going to be any credibility to a Lucid Apple partnership? But like I did say already, most likely I would say that Apple is waiting for Lucid to really ramp up on their technology because the PIF behind the scenes are making so many different partnerships and agreements for Lucid to succeed in the coming years. But Lucid itself has kind of failed to really ramp up on production, probably what the PIF and maybe Apple were wanting at this stage in the game. So I still think that Apple is waiting patiently for Lucid in my own thoughts, clearly. But let me know your idea on that as well. Someone is holding, I noticed this, I don't know if that might mean something. Someone is holding up a Coke can, it looks like. So maybe there might be a Coke Apple Lucid partnership with, I don't know if there's any other name brands here that I can see. I don't know what these shirts are but still no matter what maybe there might be more partnerships behind the scenes with coke that'd be a pretty good uh, investment especially that offers a dividend who knows but no matter what let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and if you do like my lucid content want to support the channel take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen and one final thing there is a good promo only up until march the 31st with mumu and all you have to do open up an account and you get one free stock each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so in among itself this is a no-brainer and plus if you want to throw a hundred dollars at it as well you do get additional four free stocks and then because of the whole chat ai movement you get one of ai and other bp ai so for a hundred dollars you get seven free stocks no brainer link in the description below and also the comments but without further ado appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid